Happy, 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 happy in the Lord. Praise God, I'm born again and trusting in His Word. I want you to know God's promises are true, and that's why I'm happy, happy in the Lord. Oh, happy, 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 happy in the Lord. Praise God, I'm born again and trusting in His Word. I want you to know God's promises are true, and that's why I'm happy, happy in the Lord. Well, praise the Lord. I am excited tonight. Praise the Lord, and I hope you're happy. That's our theme song that we open up. Every single Friday, well, not every single Friday night, because when we have sweet time, which we did last week, and I hope you were watching, it was a fun time, and it's, uh, we all had a blast, and you know, the main thing is that we really wanted to bless you, young people, because sweet time is all about Jesus, having a good time with Jesus, and we're going to have it again in uh, two more weeks, so every uh, three weeks, we're going to have sweet time. Now, tonight, uh, before we open a word of prayer, praise God. You know, we just sang this song, uh, Happy in the Lord. And I'm so glad, uh, I'm so happy that I have my grandniece over here, uh, Kamea. And the reason why I say this is because a lot of times I'm doing all this program by myself because I need my wife to be up there to flash the songs. So it's always me, but when she called me, I felt so good inside. I felt the joy inside because I know that she can help me sing those songs. In fact, I remember, Camille, when you were just born um, in um, Maui Memorial Hospital, that was uh, almost 10 years ago. You're going to be 10 in October, right? The first thing I said when I saw her, I said this out of my mouth. I just said, this child is going to bring us joy and i don't know why you said that but it just came out of my mouth and you know what come here you have been doing it every sing to a lot of people to your uh tutu to your family to me to mama praise god to the church people you are a joy and i'm so thankful that god has uh, created you to help us well tonight is friday Let's say, let's say this is the month of September, the 20, what, 4th, ma'am, I think? I think it is the 24th, I think. Yes, uh, September 24th. Uh, and we, let's go to prayer tonight and ask the Lord to be with us because we have an exciting program, which I think that you're going to really, really love. So, young people, all of you who are watching us on Facebook, I'm going to ask you to bow your heads. And let's ask the Lord to be with us tonight. Father, we thank you so much for this night that you have given us, Lord. It's September the 24th, Father, 2021. And Lord, in spite of all that's happening around the world with this pandemic, Lord, Father, I just thank you, Lord, that we have you, Lord, that we can put our trust in, for you're going to deliver us, Lord. And Father, we thank you so much. And we thank you, Lord, for these young people who are watching tonight. We ask that you'll be with them also, Lord, as we um, do this service unto you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. You know, there's a song that we sing many, many times. It's called the B-I-B-L-E. Now, that's the book for me. Now, we have a lot of books, uh, Camille. I'm sure when you go to school, you have math books, right? You have reading books, all these kind of books. And, um, but the most important book, now we need all those books, so don't get me wrong, no, we need those math books and reading books, science books and everything. We need those, so don't throw them away now. But the most important book is the Bible. So we're going to sing this song, the Bible, the B-I-B-L-E. And young people, you should know this song already, so I'm going to ask you, wherever you are, to sing this song with us. The B-I-B-L-E Yes, that's the book for me I stand alone on the Word of God The B-I-B-L-E God's Word will never 
fail, never fail, never fail. God's word will never fail. No, no, no. The I M S A V E D by G R A C E. I'm saved by grace. The Scripture says the B I B L E. Jesus will satisfy, satisfy, satisfy. Jesus will satisfy. Yes, yes, yes. The B I B L E. That's how God speaks to me. He tells me how He set me free through Jesus Christ in me. Jesus will never fail, never fail, never fail. Jesus will never fail. No, no, no. The B I B L E. That's God's word for me. John three sixteen. God gave His Son salvation, love for me. I'll live eternally forever. Be Jesus in me. I'll live eternally in glory. Amen. You know what it means to live eternally forever? Come on, that means we're never gonna die. Are you looking forward to go to heaven? Yes. Oh, praise God! Who's gonna be in heaven that you know? Besides Jesus. Kingston, God, Papa. Papa. Papa James. Oh, yeah. My mom's going to be up there. My dad's going to be up there. And you know what? Auntie uh, Omi's daddy and mommy's up there also. Now, you I never met uh, um, uh, Auntie Omi's mother, but you were named after her, Leilani. Praise God. So we're going to have a wonderful time. But you know what? You've got to have Jesus in your life first. Before you can go to heaven. Without that, you cannot go to heaven. You know, I skipped a song, and we're going to do it right now. It's called Making Melody in My Heart. Now, in this song, you've got to do some motions, okay? Now, this one, when it says, uh, take a step or a step forward, you've got to take a step forward. And um, uh, step back, you've got to take a step back. Then you're going to turn to your right. Now, we're turning to our left, but the only reason is because... To you, when you see it, you're going to look like we're turning to our right, okay? So we got to think opposite. Turn, turn right, turn left. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Now, I hope you can do that, okay? Remember now, you got to step forward, step back, turn right, turn left. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's try to do it one time. See how we do it, okay, young people? We did this, I think, the other week, two weeks ago. Let's see if we can do it again. Making melody in my heart, making melody in my heart, making melody in my heart to the King of Kings. Uh, step forward, <laughs> step back, turn right, turn left, praise the Lord, amen. Making melody in my heart, making melody in my heart, making melody in my heart. To the, the King of Kings. Of One more time. Oh, making melody in, in my heart. Making melody in my heart. Making melody in my heart. To the, to the King of Kings. Kings. Step forward, step back, turn right, turn left. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now we're going to do a little bit faster. Okay, come here. Here we go. Making melody in my heart. Making melody in my heart. Making melody in my heart to the, to kings, the king of, of kings. kings. Step, step forward, step, step back, back, turn right, turn left. Right. Praise the Lord, amen. amen. Now real fast. Making melody in my heart. Making melody in my heart. Making melody in my heart to the king, king of kings. Step forward, step back, turn right, turn left. Praise the Lord, amen. <laughs> Could you do that? Were you able to do that, Camille? You know what? See ya. I played a little trick in Camille. She didn't know I was going to do that. And so this is the first time actually she uh, heard that song. And she didn't know that we were going to do all those motions. So, but she did a wonderful job. Man, I thank God for you. Always helping out and doing whatever you can. Now, there's a song that's very important. 
that we all know is the Bible says that Jesus loves us so much. In fact, the Bible says in his word that there's no greater love than this, than for a man to lay down his life for his friends. Now, uh, are you a friend of God, Jesus, Mia? Yeah. I am too. And you know what? Jesus sees you as his friend. And young people, children, if you have Jesus in your heart, you know what? You are Jesus' friend. And this song is for you. It says, Jesus loves me, this I know. Yes. Now, I know you know this song, so sing it out real loud wherever you are so everybody can hear it. Now, there's about five verses that we're going to be singing, okay? So, um, as you see it on the screen, uh, try to see if you can follow along with us. Okay? Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones do him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me when I'm good. When I do the things I should. Jesus loves me when I'm bad. Though it makes him very sad. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me. He who died. Heaven came to open wide. He will wash away my sins. Let his little child come in. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me. He will stay close beside me all the way. Thou hast bled and died for me. I will henceforth live for thee. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Jesus loves the children dear. Children far away or near. They are safe when in his care. Every day and everywhere. Yes, Jesus loves me. Oh, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Jesus, take this heart of mine. Make it pure and holy thine. Thou hast bled and died for me. I will henceforth live for thee. Yes, Jesus loves me. Oh, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Praise God. Thank you, Camille, again for helping me sing. Because sometimes it gets boring if when I'm singing by myself. And I'm going to ask my, my wife to slash the second uh, verse of this song, because it's part of our skit tonight, of the second verse where it says um, that he loves us whether we're good or bad. Uh, he says here, Jesus loves me when I'm good, when I do the things that I should. Jesus loves me when I'm bad, though it makes him very sad. You know, young people, no matter what happens, no matter what you do, Jesus is going to love you anyway. But, you know, as the song says, which is very, very true, when we do things that we shouldn't do that are bad, he still loves us, but it makes him very sad. So let's try to do things that are good, that are pleasing unto him. Sometimes it's hard, I, I know, but, you know, if we can try with all our heart, then God is going to just love you so much. Well, I, I shouldn't say love you so much more, but he loves you no matter what. Praise God. Okay, now there's a one more song that I want, well, not just one more song, but there's a song that I want to sing. 
It's called No, You Can't Get to Heaven Without S-A-L-V-A-T-I-O-N. Now, this song, you're going to have to spell. And there's several um, um, uh, times that we're going to spell that song. So every time you come to the part where it says, you see that salvation over there? You got to really sound it out like S-A-L-V-A-T-I-O-N. Now, if you been listening to us many, many Fridays, we said salvation means that you've got Jesus in your life. You ask Jesus to forgive you because he died on the cross for our sins. And if you invite Jesus into your heart, you ask him to forgive you. That means you've got salvation, which means that one day, you know, come here, we're all going to die, right? I mean, eventually... And But if you have Jesus, you're not going to be just in the ground. You're going to be in heaven. Praise God, where there is no more pain. There's no sorrow. You're not going to be sad. You're going to see all the loved ones, your uncles, your aunties, or maybe your mom or dad, if they went before, or your grandpa, grand, um, um, my, and your friends, okay? But you've got to have Jesus first. And hopefully they have Jesus too. Otherwise, <clears throat> I don't think... They're going to go to, they made it to heaven. But make sure you tell them you need Jesus. Let's sing this song. No, you can't get to heaven without salvation. Okay? No, you can't get to heaven without. Okay, spell it. S-A-L-V-A-T-I-O-N. Very good. No, you can't get to heaven without. Oh, spell it. S-A-L-V-A-T-I-O-N Shout it out loud and clear Spell it S-A-L-V-A-T-I-O-N Sing it out far and near S-A-L-V-A-T-I-O-N Second verse no, no, you, you can't can get to heaven with a whole other bunch of spelling. S-A-L-V-A-T-I-O-N As a gift of His love you receive. Everybody spell it. S-A-L-V-A-T-I-O-N Where is it found? X-16 31. Everybody spell it. S A L V A T I O N. Just believe and receive. S A L V A T I O N. Okay, at a count of three, I want everybody to spell salvation. One, two, three. S-A-L-V-A-T-I-O-N. Praise God. And you know, uh, come here. On the second verse, we said a verse, Acts 16.31. Now, for those of you who don't know what Acts 16.31 says in the Bible, it says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved and thy household. That means, Camille, I know you believe in Jesus. And if you believe and pray for your household, then everybody in that household, Camille, is going to be saved one day. So keep on believing, keep on praying for them. Now there's one more song that I want us to sing. And this song is a, a song that, um, it's kind of a fun song, but you're going to go, ha, ha, ha. And then you're gonna go, ho, ho, ho. ho. Who does that, ho, ho, ho? Who? Santa Claus. Santa Claus. And you know, coming out, that's pretty soon, you know. Now, this is uh, the middle. Actually, this is the end of, uh, of uh, September. So we, let's go October, which is your birthday month, November and December. Less than three months. Then we have Christmas. Oh my goodness, it's going by so fast. And I know you young people are 
waiting for Christmas to come around. But remember now, we still got Thanksgiving to uh, celebrate also. And before that, now we don't celebrate Halloween because we don't believe in the witches or goblins and all those kind of evil things. But we believe in the saints of Jesus. Praise God. So let's sing this song. Um, I've got the joy of the Lord. Now, if you've got the joy of the Lord, you've got to sing that with joy, okay? Praise God. Are you ready? Come here. Here we go. Here we go. It goes like this. Ha, ha, ha. ha hallelujah. Ho, 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 Hosanna. He, 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 he saved me. I've got, got the, the joy, joy of the, the Lord. Lord. One more time. Oh, ha, 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 ha hallelujah. hallelujah. Ho, 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 Hosanna. He, 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 he saved me. I've got, I've got the, the joy, joy of the Lord. Lord. Oh, that was good, but you know what? We're going to make it really, really fun. Now, this is like a laughter song, so you got to really, when you sing it, ha, 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 don't just go, ha, ha, ha. You got to, ha, 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 Hosanna, oh, hallelujah. Then, ho, 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 just like Santa Claus. I know you young people can do it because I hear you sometimes go, Ho, ho, ho. That's what Santa Claus does, okay? And then and some, some little crows, sometimes they'll go, he, 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 he. They don't want to go, ha, ha, ha. They want to be dainty, so they'll go, he, 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 he saved me. So let's try to do that, okay? Come here. Let's see if we can all do that. Ready? Go. Here we go. Now I've got the joy of the Lord. Ha, 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 ha. Hallelujah. Ho, 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 ho he, 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 he saved me. I've got the joy of the Lord. Ha, 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 hallelujah. Ho, 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 Hosanna. He, 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 he saved me. I've got the joy of the Lord. Ha, 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 Hosanna. Ho, 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 Hosanna. He, 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 he saved me. I've got, got the, the joy, joy of, of the Lord. Ah, that was great. Come here. And I kind of three, I want you and I to go ha, 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 okay? And really, really do it like we really have the joy of the Lord. Read on, count three. One, two, three. Ha, 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 Hallelujah. I like that. That was good, come here. Now we're going to act like Santa Claus, okay? We're going to go ho, read on, count three. One, two, three. Ho, ho, ho. That was great. That was great. I should have got the Santa Claus head over there and have you put it on. <laughs> and the last one, now we got to be dainty on this one, okay? Because it's like a, like a little girl who don't want to say it real loud. We're going to go he, 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 okay? We go one, two, three. He, he, he. 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 <laughs> Okay, we're going to do all three of it, okay? First we're going to go ha, 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 then ho, 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 then he, he, he. Okay, ready? On a count of three. One, two, three. Ha, 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 ha. Ho, ho, ho. He, 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 he. I've got the joy of the Lord. Let's do it one more time. Just one more time with the song, okay? Now, young people, you know how to do it, so... I want to hear you wherever you are, whether you're at home, you're in the garage, or you're uh, in your room, wherever, in the kitchen. I want you to sing that song, and, and the way we, uh, Kamea, Kamea and I just did it, so people are going to uh, look around and say, hey, what's happening? And they're going to tell them, because I've got the joy of the Lord. Ready, Kamea, here we go. Ha, 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 hallelujah. hallelujah. Ho, 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 Hosanna. He, 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 he saved me. I've got, got the joy of the Lord. Lord. Ha, 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 hallelujah. Ho, 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 Hosanna. He, 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 he saved me. I've got the joy of the Lord. Come here. I really appreciate you for helping me out. That You added so much, you know. It makes it more exciting when you're over here. And you know what? The young people, they don't only want to see me up here. They want to see a young child like you. 
So I thank the Lord that he sent you here tonight to help me in this program. So thank you, Camille. You can go down now. And we have something very exciting that uh, I want to do, okay? Now, uh, I'm going to get ready right over here. We're going to do a, an interview with someone that you know very well. So um, let me just put my guitar down, and I'm going to get situated right over there, okay? Just a minute. Well, praise the, praise the Lord. I hope that you had fun tonight. I know I had fun because Kamea helped me tonight. And I really do appreciate that. Praise God. And I know that you appreciated that too because I think sometimes you get tired of only seeing me up here. But when you see uh, a child like Kamea who loves the Lord so much, it makes you feel so much better too because this is young people's uh, night. And this is why we, we're here, because we want to tell you about the joy of the Lord, the love of the Lord. And tonight, we have someone very, very special that, that wanted to be, well, I, sh I should say that I asked this one person if she could help me with uh, tonight. And uh, I told her that um, all she had to do is give an interview about her loving Jesus. And she agreed that she would come on this program. And, but she's a little bit nervous. So um, to uh, help her, I'm going to ask all of you at home, at the count of three. Well, first of all, let me tell you who this person is. Her name is Lulu. Now, she's no stranger to this program, but she's been on uh, several times before. But she's a little bit nervous, like I said. So at a count of three, all you young people, I'm going to ask you to say, Lulu, come out now. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Lulu, come out now. Oh, maybe she didn't hear us. Let's do it one more time. A little bit louder, okay? Uh, one, two, three. Lulu, come out now! Oh my God, goodness. Where can she be? She was here a little while ago. I know she was nervous, but... Lulu? Lulu? Lulu, are you here? I hope she didn't leave. I know. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wait a minute. There she is. She was underneath the table. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Lulu. How come you're hiding under the table? Oh, hi, Milton. I'm a little nervous about being interviewed. So I hid under the table. Lulu, why are you so nervous? You've been here on this program before. I know, but I usually have Toby and Max with me, and I feel more comfortable when they're around. Where are they anyway? Well, they couldn't make it tonight, but they did say that they're going to be watching you on Facebook. And they're going to be praying for you. And you know who else is going to be watching and praying for you tonight? Who is it? Is it Pastor Barbara and the children on Facebook land? Well, yes, of course. They're going to be uh, praying for you and watching you. But there's someone else who is going to be watching you. And that person is Jesus saying, you know what, Lulu? She, he is going to be praying for you also. What? Jesus will be watching? I hope I don't mess up. Now I'm really nervous. Well, you don't have to worry about that, Lulu. If you do it from your heart, then everything will be just fine. I believe Jesus 
is going to be praying for you all night as you speak. Oh, that makes me feel so much better knowing that Jesus is praying for me. You know what, Lulu? Whenever I speak and I get a little bit nervous, you know what I like to do? I like to say something funny or maybe say a joke. And when I do that, it kind of loosens me up and makes me feel so comfortable inside. So uh, do you have maybe a joke that you would like to say tonight? Hmm, let me think. Oh, I know. Where in the Bible was the first baseball game played? Oh, where was the first baseball game played in the Bible? Uh, I don't know. Where was it? Genesis 1.1. It says, in the beginning. You get it? In the big inning. <laughs> Lulu, I like that. That was a good one. In the big inning. In the beginning. Uh, Genesis 1.1. I got to remember that. Um, oh, I have another one. Okay. What, why must we be quiet when Pastor Barbara is preaching? Hmm. Let's see. That's a good one. I don't know. Why must we be quiet when Pastor Barbara is speaking, preaching? Because when she preaches, everyone goes to sleep, and we don't want to wake any of them up. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that, Lulu. And you you like what? that one? <laughs> I think Pastor Barbara is going to love that one also. Oh, boy. That's right. You know, uh, uh, sometimes I hear uh, people snoring. Uh, so, uh, oh, wait, wait, uh, so, wait. I have one more. Oh, no, no. Uh, Lulu, uh, I think that's enough because I think you're really, really loosening up tonight already. And I think you feel very, very comfortable. In fact, let's, let's concentrate on why we're here. To share your testimony about Jesus. Oh, okay. I'm ready. Let's start. Okay. First of all, Lulu, when did you first invite Jesus in your heart? Hmm. Let's see. I'm eight years old now, so I think it was maybe when I was five years old. And where were you when you received Jesus in your life? And why did you want Jesus in your life? Well, when I went to Sunday school, the teacher told me that Jesus loved me, whether I was good or bad. And I haven't been always good so I wanted Jesus to help me be good all the time. I see. You know, that is so true. You know, we sang that song, Lulu, about Jesus loves me. And in the song, it does say that um, he loves us no matter what, when we're good or bad. But it does make him sad when we're not good. But that's a good reason. That's a good start that you want to invite Jesus in your life because you felt that you were bad. You know, the Bible does say, Lulu, in uh, Romans 5 eight, that God commended his love toward us. And while we were yet sinning, that means doing things that are bad, Jesus died for you and I. When I heard that in Sunday school, it made me sad for Jesus because he did nothing wrong. Yet he was willing to give his life for me. That's how much he loves us, Lulu. He loves you so much. He loves everybody. And that's why he came to earth. You know, the Bible does say in John 15, 13, it says, greater love hath no man than when a man laid down his life for his friend. And you're his friend. But why did Jesus have to suffer and die? Couldn't we just say, I'm sorry, and say, please forgive me? This way, he wouldn't have to go to the cross. Well, no, that was never in God's plan, Lulu. 
You know, Jesus had to go to the cross and suffer for our sins. And you know, like you said, Jesus didn't do anything wrong, but it was us who did wrong. A long time ago, even it started really in the Garden of Eden when you know, Adam and Eve sinned. And this is why God had a, a special plan for us to come back to him. You know, in the Bible, in Hebrews 9 does say, without the shedding of blood, there can be no remission of sins. What is that word, remission? Well, remission means to be forgiven of our sins. That's what makes Jesus so different from any other so-called gods who claim to be God or a prophet. Jesus was the only one that actually was willing to suffer and die for us. No other person could ever and would ever do that. I understand now. My Sunday school teacher did say that in the Old Testament, a sacrifice of a lamb was offered to God as a sign of repentance and forgiveness for our sins. And so Jesus became our blood sacrifice to God. You know, that's very, very uh, true, um, Lulu. And I'm glad that you're the type that really listens to the Sunday school teacher because I can tell that you love Jesus very, very much. And, you know, the Bible does say that, you know, uh, a lot of people think that there's a lot of ways that we can come to um, God in heaven. But that's not true. They try so many, many things. They, they think sometimes if they have a... a uh, a lot of money that they can go to heaven. No, that's not what Jesus requires. Sometimes they feel like, oh, if I go to a school, which is very important, then I got an education, then I can go to heaven also. But you know what? The Bible says that's not how you go to heaven. In John fourteen six, the Bible says, I am the way. Now, Jesus is speaking. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh unto the Father but by me. And you know what? We sang the song tonight, didn't we, uh, uh, Lulu? Uh, and Kamea, remember you, you saw Kamea up here, right? She yes. came out tonight to Yes, I did. I enjoyed, I enjoyed yes, hearing her sing. I, I really did. did. And you know what? Jesus enjoyed her too. And then I think the young people, I know the young people enjoyed hearing Kamea too. And the song that we sang, Kamea and I, was the song, No, You Can't Get to Heaven Without S A L V A T I O N. And can I ask a favor? Can you help me sing that? In fact, I'm going to ask Kamea if she can come and help us sing that song. Um, with us. Is that okay with you? So come yes. in. Yes, that's okay with me. Okay, come here. Can you come up and grab the mic? Because she did so well. And I want us to sing this song to the young people because that's what this uh, night is all about. About <laughs> salvation. Why Jesus loved us. Now we're not going to do it with any music. We're just going to sing what is called a cappella, meaning just our voices. So are you ready, Lulu and Camille? Yes. Yes. Okay, here we go. On a count of three. One, two, three. No, no you, you can't, can't get, get to heaven without S-A-L-V-A-T-I-O-N. No, you can't get to heaven without S A L V A T I O N. Shout it out loud and clear. S A L V A T I O N. Sing it out far and near. S A L V A T I O N. And you know, there's, thank you, Camille. I appreciate that. You know, the second verse does um, say there's a scripture in there uh, 
Lulu, and it says in Acts 16, it says that thou, and I quoted it tonight also, it says that believe not on me, not on all your riches, not on false gods, but believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, and thy household. Praise God. Well, Lulu, I want to thank you once again um, for being with us tonight and You're sharing welcome, your Milton. testimony. Well, I appreciate that. You know, Lulu, as we sing the song, he lives in our hearts, and I know he lives in your heart too. Whenever we invite Jesus into our heart, in our lives, remember what the Bible says in John 10.10? 10? It says, and it's a promise of God, it says he gives to all who accept him in their life an abundant life. Abundant life? What does that mean, abundant life? Well, that's a big word, Lulu, but that's a special word. Not, not only does Jesus going to give us a life eternal, that means we're going to be in heaven every, whenever we leave this earth, but he is going to give us a wonderful life here on earth that's full of love, joy, peace, happiness, everything that we can have that's good, Jesus is going to give to us. Oh yeah, there is one more very important thing that Jesus gives us when we invite him in our lives. And that is eternal life with him in heaven. And that's very important, Lulu. And I'm glad you pointed that out because Jesus is coming very soon. And you know what, Lulu? He might come even tonight or tomorrow. Or next week. We don't know when it's coming. But you know what? With this pandemic that's happening, and a lot of people are getting sick, and some people are actually dying. But if they have Jesus, they don't have to worry. They can be in heaven whenever they live this earth. And that's why we need to be ready for, for when Jesus comes. Well, I wish, I, I wish and I pray everyone can go to live with Jesus in heaven. Someday. That's what this interview is all about, Lulu. To let people know that. That Jesus loves them so much. And he wants to give them this wonderful life. And one day to spend forever with him in heaven. Because I know that you did that. And then one day you're going to be with him in heaven. Yes. Ever since I asked Jesus to come into my life. I feel so loved and safe. He's always there with me, at home, at school, or even at the shopping mall. That's so true. Jesus is everywhere. He wants to be with you no matter where you are and what you do. You know, and as we close this interview, Lulu, is there any last, last uh, thoughts that you want to share with the children that's uh, listening to your interview? No. But can you lead them in a word of prayer so that they too can have an opportunity to receive Jesus in their lives, just like I did when I was five? You know, that's, I'm going to do that, and I was planning to do that, but thank you for saying that. You know, children, if you really want Jesus in your life, just like how Kamea did, and I did, Lulu did also, and one uh, day to be with Jesus in heaven, and also have this wonderful life, like we said, abundant life, then I'm going to ask you to repeat this prayer after me. And Lulu, can you help the children out and repeat this prayer also? Sure, Milton. Okay. So, children, if you could just bow your heads and close your eyes and say this, Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus, Thank you for loving me so much. Thank you for loving me so much. And Jesus, I love you. And Jesus, I love you. Please forgive me of my sins. Please forgive me of my sins. And please come into my heart today. And please come into my heart today. Be my Lord and Savior. 
Be my Lord and Savior. And accept me as your child. And accept me as your child. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, there you have it. You know, if you said that prayer to my young people or little children, no matter how old you are, if you repeated that prayer, if you meant it in your heart, then Jesus is going to give you a beautiful, wonderful, happy, joyous life, just like it's going to be Christmas every day of your life. Well, Lulu, I thank you once again, and I just want to say to you, thank you for coming tonight and spending this time with us and sharing your interview with all these young people. Well, thank you, Milton. Thank you for having me. And you can ask me anytime to share about Jesus. <laughs> okay, Lulu. Now, I'm going to hold you to that now, okay? Because I may just ask you again. I, I think the young people want to hear uh, more um, about your testimony also. So I'm going to ask you in the near future that you come out and share um, uh, your, uh, whatever God wants you to say uh, to them. And before we close, can you just tell all the little children who's watching um, goodbye and, and say that you love them? Sure. Goodbye, children. I love you. And I'll see you again real soon. And I also want to say the same thing too, that I love you very, very much, but most of all, Jesus loves you. And I'm going to ask Camille to come on stage one more time. And as we close, we're just going to wave to you and say goodbye. And we love you. Okay, you ready, Lulu and Camille? We're just going to wave to them and let them know that thank you for being with us tonight. And we love them. Thank Bye. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. God thank bless you. you. We love you. Love you. We see you again next time.